Hey guys, Illy here. Um, this document has been released as of 30 minutes ago. I just got home after a lovely haircut. And I'm going to go over some initial reactions to CB 0 0.19, uh, Smike Tactics, A New Threshold. Nothing in this document is final, but I'm just going to give general thoughts and opinions on what we have right here, right now. What's new? New card art for Blade Master. I mean, it smites. You always want to make the BM look good, right? That's pretty sweet. I like that. I like that a lot. It's the um, Titan from the um, uh, Joust map is what the Blade Master is. It's the Chaos Side Titan. So uh, I, I think it's very well depicted there. I, I very much uh, enjoy that. All right, Baboon. A neutral, 6-mana, 3-7, ranged guard unit. Um, obviously, any ranged unit is extremely strong. And, I mean, we see what Medusa does as a 5-mana, 3-5. Um, obviously, her passive is insane. She kills turns damaged units to stone, but when you think about it, most of the time, three damage is going to kill it anyway, so I don't think that matters. So essentially, you're paying one mana for two HP and guard. Um, I think this is going to be a very strong card in some decks, but you do have to be careful... Um, it's not an overcommittal to board, but you can sometimes get away with ignoring 3 damage. And because it's 6 mana, it's not going to be 3 damage, 3 damage, 3 damage. It's most likely you're only going to get, you know, maybe 3 attacks off, which is 9 damage. This is even half your total life on summoning stones. In other words, cards like Stone Guardian are still better. Um, and... I don't think this is going to be a good filler card, right? Until you manage to get the Medusa, um, something like that. The the seven health though makes this card insane. I don't know. I'm leaning on the side of it needs to be toned down a little, uh, but overall, I think it's I think it's definitely going to see play. I mean, any powerful range unit's going to see a lot of play. All right, Battle Rage Roman, common deal four uh, four mana deal two damage and then give a friendly, so deal two damage to anything, and then give a friendly plus two attack. So that could target summoning stones, it can target leaders, it can target units, it could target a friendly. So feasibly, I suppose you'd never use it on anything friendly, because you can always do damage to a summoning stone. Um, I don't think it's overly viable. Uh, maybe the only thing I can think of is putting it on like a mercenary um, and having it scurry from your back line up. And it's, but four mana is a lot of mana to pay, so you'd have to develop the mercenary first, yada, yada, yada. And it'd have to live. I don't know, that's interesting. Anything that's plus damage can be very, very valuable, but I don't think Roman is going to ever want to rush you. Um, and I think four mana deal four. And it's single target. Well, it actually could be four mana deal two and then deal two again. Uh, I think I think if it was three mana, I would definitely play it all the time. So I think for that reason, four mana is probably better. Um, but the fact the buff isn't permanent too. Um, hmm. I mean, obviously dealing four damage is going to kill a lot of a lot of things most of the time if you're able to deal four damage with a spell and then or two damage of the spell and then two damage of the unit you can probably kill whatever it is but it does require a board right so it's worse it's a four mana deal too which means just I thunder isn't neutral anymore but oh, we'll, we'll see I, I'm not sure that I, I would play this card as it stands uh, maybe if it gave, maybe if the if the buff was permanent, I think I would definitely play it. All right, bombard Roman common three mana. If you control two or more structures, deal four damage to the enemy leader. Okay, 
why would I put that in my deck? That's my question, right? It's my question with all the cards. Is there any option that's better than that? And I think with Roman, you still want more stuff. You, you don't necessarily want to just assassinate the enemy leader. You want to build your board, and then your board's going to kill the enemy leader anyway. So I'm not convinced that Bombard is going to be good. And I haven't seen any new structures, though. So maybe if we've got some really OP structures, there'll be like a structure Roman deck. Like there's a new Obese decks, you know, you might have a structure Roman deck where you just spam structures and win that way. Not sure. Crippling Curse. Norse. One mana. Set a unit's health to... <laughs> what am I looking at? That's like a one mana deal four. One mana deal three. That's insane! Of course, the other side of it is, you know, what is my goal in a Norse deck? Well, it's not really to remove board, is it? It's just to smack the enemy structures. So I could see how maybe you make a case for not having that. But I think, I mean, mid-range Norse obviously runs that card. The two of. Instantly. To me, that that is that is OP just because it has the potential to do so much damage. Imagine imagine you're in you're in you're in a Norse game, right? And you're you're in a tournament and your opponent says he's gonna run Norse, I'm gonna run I'm gonna run Chinese, and I'm gonna get Guan Yu, and I'm gonna spam Crescent Blades and Rushing Thunder, and I'm gonna develop like two or three big minions in my back line the Norse guy can't get to. And I play Crippling Curse. Boom. Your your 5-5 five, five Ugwe just turned into a 5-1 that I clear with a, a freaking Cursed Archer. And I paid 3 mana to do it because the Cursed Archer... I mean, the Cursed Archer, it, is, it's not even 2 mana. It's 2 thirds of a mana. So you didn't even pay two mana to kill a four mana card. That is the potential to be insane. Yeah, that's broken. Okay, Dagaz. Dagaz? I don't know how to pronounce that. Dagaz, Norse, common, one mana. Deal one mana, deal one damage to an enemy and spawn a Cursed Warrior, which is a 2-1 melee unit, is not good. Um, because the Cursed Warrior is too slow and it's one health melee unit, so... Why? Yeah. N no. I don't, I don't see that being good. Um, definitely too slow, and Norse does not want to deal one damage. It's not something they have a problem with. Halt, Roman, common, three mana. Deal one damage and root all enemies in a two by two. Okay. So Roman is def. I mean, obviously Roman's about positioning, right? I'm not sure how valuable... I mean, the, the root all enemies is pretty good. And Cataclysm is sort of similar. Of course, the dealing one damage. But Roman doesn't have a lot of ranged units, right? You've got Sign of Doom, if you run that. You've got the uh, the one that you've got the one that gets Pardon when it's um, when it's adjacent. I can think of. Okay, well, I can see that I'm looking at the Giannis is going to be ranged. Well, let, let's hold off on that. If Roman gets a lot of really good ranged cards, then I think Halt could be a possibility. Um, but bottom line, it's three mana deal three ish damage, you know, two and a half damage probably on average, and root all enemies. And against like a protect one, it's not very good. So we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. I'm not a huge fan of it yet, unless control becomes super, super viable, where you want to control where the enemy is going, and positioning is huge. Because obviously, if you've got a bunch of melee units, you're going to be next to them anyway, the root doesn't matter. Inferno Cannon, Roman. So we're going to see a Vulcan? Okay, hey, we'll see Vulcan. Uh, two, and it's free. Two mana, two, two, structure, can't attack. So i got to figure structure is just, you play it and it can't move. Uh, but I, 
I'm going to also assume that it's ranged and that it's for range, but I don't know that. That's just my assumption. Um, two mana, two, two with Calder. We see Calder run, but only because it has a lot of synergy with Scotty. So I don't, and even, even then, a lot of times I don't put natural Calders in my deck. And I just rely on the Scotty to draw him because I want to play him with Scotty anyway. So let, let's see. I'm going to hold off judgment on that because I'm pretty sure it's going to work with Vulcan. Uh, I haven't read through the document yet. But that seems like a Vulcan card. Um, Giannis, Roman Legendary, 5 mana. Why are all the Legendaries 5 mana, dude? Ranged 3-5, so Medusa. During your draw step, reveal the top card of both decks. Select one to draw and place the other on top of your enemy's deck? Okay, so most of the time you're always going to pick your card. Unless you're in a mirror and their card is better. But I don't even care if, you, if you're if you not in a mirror and you don't pick that card. Now you know what they're going to draw. And e I mean, even if you do switch them, you still know what they're going to draw. Which gives you th twice the chance of getting the right draw in any situation. That is insanely good. And we had we had part of this spoiled on Twitter, but I didn't read the whole thing because I wa didn't want to be completely spoiled. But range 3-5, we already know is really good because Medusa. You know, most of the time, 3 damage is going to kill a unit anyway. And Roman looks like is, seeks to be a mid-range deck that controls the board. Um, and that is... Poof, that is a, That basically gives it taunt. For those of you familiar with Hearthstone, this, you have to kill this card. If this card gets value, it's going to turn into like a uh, Ysera, right? Where, you, where you're just getting dream cards every turn. Well, this isn't the same deal, but I mean, you're getting knowledge every single turn. And that is extremely powerful in a card game. So that that's really strong. We're going to have to see how hard that is to kill, how hard it is to deal 5 damage. Obviously against something like Egyptian, it's not very hard. But if you're going up against, um, actually, I suppose Roman, <laughs> if you're going up against Roman, it's going to be so hard to deal with five damage and remove it. Outmaneuvered, Roman. Common five mana, return a friendly unit to your hand and deal six damage to an enemy unit. So that's a heavy drawback for six damage. Six damage is a lot. It's going to kill pretty much anything. Uh, for 5 mana, so it's a 5 mana deal 6, but you're returning a friendly unit to your hand. Roman, does Roman have any really cheap, I mean mercenary is the one that comes to mind, right? You play a mercenary and then you play outmaneuvered for 6 mana deal 6, and then you have the mercenary that you can play again. Um, but a lot of Roman cards are not cheap. Oh, the other uh, ranged unit for Roman would be the... Um, What's it called? It's the it's the ranged unit that spawns a unit that was bugged because it would spawn like two different units. Anyway, that's an interesting card. Um, to me, Roman is too clunky, and returning a friendly unit to your hand is way, 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 way too slow. Uh, but we'll see. It seems like a win more card to me, where if you can afford to return a unit to your hand then you probably would have had the capacity to deal 6 damage with that unit over a few turns anyway. But we could see it We could see it run, because it is 6 damage right now, which sometimes you need. And maybe you're up against, like, a, a BD, BDK, you know? BDK is uh, 6 health, so... Okay. I'm not convinced that I would use this card, but it's possible. Reign of Arrows, Roman... 3 mana, select a 3x3 three three area, and then deal 2 damage to all units and leaders <laughs> not in the selected area. So that's including friendlies. And not including summoning stones. Because it's not structures. Okay. The potential to be really good, it's a comeback mechanic, obviously, right? If you have a board... 
then you don't want to use that because you can't protect the whole board. But in three by three areas, pretty big. It's interesting because obviously the the card that you want to play around for Roman is dishonorable if you're playing against them, which requires you to be grouped, which means that hitting that is going to be a lot easier. So that is interesting. I'm pretty sure... See, it would be so good against, like, Norse or, um, in some cases, um, Chinese. In some cases, like a Beast deck. It would always be horrible against a spell damage deck that just wants to kill you over two turns with spells. Um, seems like it'd be pretty bad against Egyptian as well, because a lot of their cards are very high health. Seems like it'd be good against Roman, but I mean, a lot of things seem like they're going to be good against Roman. As the potential... I mean, you, you got to figure you're going to hit at least two so it's a three mana deal four, which is quite usable. So I think I think we'll see Reign of Arrows quite a bit. I think that's a strong card. Sylvanas, epic six mana five four. It's ranged. Afterlife spawn a zero three sapling. Sylvanas is respawn from the sapling at the end of your at the start of your next turn. It's also slightly spoiled in the Discord. We knew what sapling was. Um how hard is it to deal three damage? Not hard. I don't. But I mean, a six mana five four, just a four is still a decent amount of health. And now with focus blast gone, uh, because it doesn't deal four damage anymore, four damage is harder to do, but it's still not impossible. And five damage being ranged means it's pretty much gonna remove whatever it hits. So it's a five damage kill at least one thing. Uh, so six mana, remove one thing, and have a chance to spawn another five four. That's pretty good. I, it's it's fairly high up on the curve, and I don't think Roman really needs. Oh, there's Vulcan. Uh, needs a high curve, because you kind of want to play a bunch of stuff, kind of zooey style, um, but more mid range than zoo. It, it's interesting. I, that might be a one of. I don't know if I'd run two of that because it's kind of all in, at that point. But, I mean, a ranged 5-4 is insane, so yeah, maybe I'd run two of those. I would have to think about what I want to cut from the deck. Uh, Vulcan, 5 mana, 4-3, Warcry, sp there, there we go. There's the spawn, the Inferno Cannon. Um, so, essentially, you're paying 5 mana to get 6-5 of stats, which is pretty good. <laughs> it is split, though, and only 3 health isn't isn't very hard to deal with on a five mana turn. It's pretty hard to deal with on like a two mana turn, uh, which is why we see like White Tiger and uh, cards like that being so strong. But I mean, having it spawning double ranged, if we're assuming that Inferno Cannon is a as a ranged structure, which would make sense, uh, seems pretty strong. So I. I Again, though, we're getting a lot of high-curve cards. We've got a Legendary that's 5 mana. We're getting a Rare that's 5 mana, an Epic that's 6 mana. You know, if you're running out Maneuver, that's another 5 mana slot, which seems like a lot of this stuff is pretty high-curve. So it's going to be interesting to see what stays in the deck. I think I think that's one of the problems that Outmaneuvered here, is if I'm running all these high high curve cards, I do not want to have outmaneuvered in my deck, because it's just not worth it at that point. Okay, general out of the Roman quest, yay! Um, new HUD, blah blah blah. Card preview icons that display over tiles to show what card is being played. These can only be seen by the player that is playing the card. Okay. But I mean, it can be checked in the, the tabby thing anyway, the history by the other player. Change the colors of the attack and health values on unit bars to reflect the colors of the card. 
Not sure what that means. I guess we'll find out. And we knew about the pretty maps. Adonis spoiled that one. We standardized the movement speeds for ranged and melee units. All melee units will have a movement of 3, and ranged will have a movement of 2. I like that. Um, it's buffing and nerfing some some cards, but I, I like it just to keep it standardized is good. Especially because we removed the ability to see the movement speed on the card. For new players, that has to be so confusing. You're like, wait, you're playing a Blade Master. Why can't it get to me? You know. Reduced initial, initial mana cost from 4 to 3 on all leaders. I like that, actually. I like that quite a bit. I think the leader's um, playability was very low after about 5 mana. Um, which is something I initially said the last patch. And then... Having played this patch some, I uh, the 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 point one eight patch some, I have to agree with my initial assumption that I don't want to play my leader after it's five mana, and if your leader dies more than that, you're probably going to lose anyway. Alquang reduced health from six to five. We had a uh, quite a bit of bit of discussion about this in the Discord, and I will I agree with that. I think it's a good change. Obviously. A 5 mana 5 6 with spell damage was completely broken. Um, and I think, uh, I think a 5 5 or a 5 4 even um, is correct. We might, might see that adjusted downwards again. Appeasement can now be used on your leader. What does appeasement do? Mm. Appeasement. Kill a non oh, right, that's the reduce cost of cards in hand. Okay, that's interesting, because if that applies to your leader card that then gets put into your hand, that means you could play a one-mana leader, which isn't bad. So I'm actually quite interested about that. If that applies to the leader that, can, that then gets put in your hand after dying, I want that card in my deck. But if it doesn't, I still don't think I'd run it. Armaments. Mana cost reduced from 3 to 2. That was the Roman card that drew you up to um, how many cards your opponent had. Okay. Th reducing it down is fine. You generally want to spam out, like I said, zoo style. So Armaments was a card that you wanted to run, but you couldn't really run because everything was kind of high mana cost. So reducing that from 3 to 2, I think, is a good change. Uh, makes it less risky to put in your deck. Book the Dead, new effects, cool, whatever. I'm not sure I'd run that card anyway. BDK, health reduced from 6 to 5. Okay. I like that change. Um, Cataclysm reduced mana cost from 4 to 3. Hmm. Might be putting some cataclysms in my deck then. It's a pretty strong. I I I used to run it on four mana, so I don't know that that requires some thought. But I, we might see cataclysm come back in a meta. Charge can now be used on leaders, which is good. Dying wish. It's another one of these, isn't it? Yeah, it's in here somewhere. Where is it? Where is it? Oh yeah, draw cards equal to its attack. Why would I ever use that on my leader? <laughs> I, I, I still don't think that's a card worth running. Focus Blast, now works if you don't have anything to heal. Okay. Gladiator reduces your hero power by one. Passive now stacks. That's a pretty good buff for gladiator um means now you kind of have to remove it because before it was like okay i should remove gladiator but now it's like you better remove that if he's got that second gladiator he's casting zero mana hero powers and that's nuts uh especially in roman where you really want to use that hero power but sometimes you don't have the mana to because you have to keep developing your board this doesn't punish you for developing your board with your hero power jim of iso now Dax. Might see some Gem of Iso come back. We were all super surprised when that card came in a meta, and the people that were using it were obviously much smarter than I am. Um, 
that that might be overdone. We'll see. Because you do have to draw both of them, and if you really mulligan for it, there's about a 7% chance that you get two of any identical card if you heavily mulligan for it in your opening hand. Um, but either way, that's... That's kind of scary, but the odds are you wouldn't play two of them anyway, unless you're in a really late style or a long game, and these games don't go very long. Hebo attack reduced from 3 to 2. Fair enough. Hebo is a very strong unit. It's a bounce effect on the enemy, which can be very, very powerful against other Egyptian decks, or against other, uh, excuse me, Chinese decks. can be powerful against Egyptian, I guess. It's like a Kepri or something. Really bad against Greek because all of them have great war cries, but sometimes um, the cards that have great war cries are too clunky to play again, so you're essentially removing them from the game. Hunter Sigil, reduce spawn units from 3 to 2. Oh, thank goodness, because that card was broken. <laughs> Extremely broken. Excuse the breathing into the mic. Um, I'm very, very glad that got fixed. There's no reason for it to spawn 3. <laughs> Odin can now self-target with leave ability. Cool. Purification now works on summoning stones. Purification, I believe, gives health, right? Yeah. Remove crowd control and give uh, plus two health. That could be pretty good, you know? That's a two... That's a, that's a two heal for zero mana. That's a free raw ability right there. Spartan, health increased from 4 to 6. Is that still 5 mana? Uh, 4 mana. Hmm. That's just became extremely hard to remove. I might run that card. Stone Guardian, health reduced from 3 to 2. Way to go. Two damage is much easier to deal than three. And especially with the range that increases, that's a good change. Terra, wall is now instantly stunned and hit all enemies in the road. Damage has been removed. What was her slash line? She is a 6-6 six, six for six. 6-6 six, six for six, stun at least one. That is pretty good. Okay, that, I mean, Roman is now becoming a very high curve deck, and that can be dangerous. So we'll, we'll see if this, uh, if Rome is viable just because all of these cards are so good. I mean, I think Rome will be more viable, but I think all of their really good cards are way too high in mana cost. And I just don't know if you can fit them all in a deck and make it viable, because I think you'll be dead by the time you're getting all that value. Uh, touch of Midas, mana cost reduced from 3 to 2. Why? Is discover a god. Come on. Ah, bug. This is a uh, excellent website made by uh, Uikai. I can't pronounce his name. Um, Which one was I even looking up now? Touch of Midas, right? Yeah, just discover a god. So two mana, discover a god. Okay. I'm not sure if that's necessary. It's um, Greek. I don't know if you would run that card, because... I mean, I suppose it's good for new players, but I, I don't know if I would put that in my deck. You do have the chance to discover, like, Third Athena, which is pretty good. I'd pay two mana to discover a Third Athena, I think. Regardless, uh, might be too clunky, but, I mean, discovering Nemesis out of that might actually be pretty good in the early game of four mana ne Nemesis. It's kind of, again, kind of clunky, but any of the discover cards are kind of clunky. Weakening Curse. Spell now sets an enemy's attack to one. Okay, instead of to zero, and it is a zero mana spell. Okay, I mean, kind of does the same deal. Um, 
gets a little bit of a buff or a little bit of nerf on the card. Zero mana takes zero damage is pretty good, so we'll see. Bug fixes. Ah, Sag Sagittarius. That was the card I was thinking of. That's the other ranged Roman unit. Now, there's units for certain cards. That would be like Mayhem and stuff. Um, or the um, the Chinese Emperor's Prize. Guard effects would not move with leaders. That is true. There would be like little hovering bubbles of guard <laughs> all around the map. You're like, ah, where's the guard? Ah! Yeah. <laughs> Either way, uh, discover card couldn't be played when your leader was in your hand, which is very strong. That is going to buff discover cards. Um, Medusa could turn summoning stones into stone. That happens, and it was very annoying. Good on ya. Can't turn stone into stone, or you can, but there's no reason to. Um, fixed an issue where leaders could sometimes cost more than 10 mana if killed enough. Who the hell had their leader die that much and kept playing it? Honestly. Uh, that that must have been like a test internally, because I cannot see <laughs> a situation where you are literally playing the game for that long and still haven't lost yet. Um, fix an issue with Cyrus would some kind of sometimes cost less for units killed on your opponent's turn. Okay. Well, Cyrus is still interesting. Um, I made a control raw. A deck the other day and uploaded a video about it and I didn't include Osiris because Blademaster was just better and had more board impact um, but maybe Osiris is going to be playable it just no board impact really kills him in my opinion fixed in interaction between Bologna's leader ability and the Roman spell reconstruct okay so was the summoning stone getting like 12 health that would have been pretty cool, actually. Ares is no longer able to target units turned to stone by Medusa. Why would you want to do that? I suppose just misclicks. Fix an issue where banishing Ao Quang would sometimes cause spell damage to stack. Oh, I remember this one. Um, that's... Who reported that one? I remember seeing that one in the Discord. And fix an issue where Calder's passive would still be active after silenced. Cool. Um, and afterlife units and last breath. I really want to see like the Thanatos interaction with afterlife units, where afterlife just doesn't happen, because it really punishes you for playing like decrepit bowmen. You can't play that going into a four mana turn because it just gets Thanatosed, and there goes your two two. You don't get the one ones. The one ones do matter quite a bit, I think. Um, either way. That's my uh, overall review here. I still think Norse is going to be the most broken class in the game. I mean, you can just run mid-range Freya and face roll people. Um, followed up very closely by anything Chinese, because even though Ao Kuang got a nerf, he is still above the point of balance, in my opinion, to the fact that he can double hit on uh, Dragon King, and then, of course, uh, you've got the miniature... Annihilation with the uh, three card, uh, two rushing thunder deal four damage combination, which is pretty strong, pretty strong. Then you've got, um, I think after Chinese, so it's going to be, in my opinion, Freya, Guan, Odin, Nuwa, then probably Egyptian because Bologna is still not good enough. The, the, the Roman still is not good enough. The curve is too high, in my opinion. And probably Ra, Bologna, and then Isis is still trashed here because he's way too slow. Egyptian is fine, but Isis is just too, too slow to play in a uh, competitive setting, in my opinion. Obviously, the value from it is great, uh, but I don't think it's good enough. That's my uh, general overview. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Um, feel free to make suggestions and give your own opinions because I, th I value everyone's opinion. You know? This game is still too early to have one person dictating a meta. And uh, certainly anybody who's interested in the game should take a look and uh, give your own opinions based on other games. So that's, uh, that's that. And if you...
want to take a closer look here at Mr. Blademaster. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, catch you guys later.